Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Marta. Today is the 31st of July and this time I have some news for you regarding Destiny. As naturally there is a lot more on offer in the full game than we have been shown so far in the beta and that will include six player raids which were designed to challenge end game characters. Obviously Destiny will have multiple mission types which will include co-op story missions by the name of Strikes and these are basically being referred to by most um, gaming journalists and everyone else as raids but Bungie has another kind of experience in mind when it talks about raids to what you traditionally think of with that word when it's associated with an MMO. Now when he was speaking to IGN Luke Smith of Bungie said that raids are in-game content that he expects players want to jump into as soon as they wrap up the main story. And are basically being described as, quote, one of the pillars of the game and are apparently extremely crafted experiences. And you'll have to form your own groups to tackle these missions, which are designed, as a, again, for six players. And there'll be no matchmaking f with strangers. So, as Bungie says, communication will be essential. So, basically, you have to at least vaguely have spoken to enough people to get involved. Now this obviously means that, well, you're not stuck, you can basically go do what some people have done and that's actually create a matchmaking group via Facebook or your favourite forum or what have you. So you can kind of get a lot of people together but within the game there is no matchmaking with strangers as they feel it just won't get the dynamic um, that they're after. Now, unlike the strike missions, which are fairly short, the raids could actually take a couple of hours at a time. And Luke Smith said, quote, The activity is going to take you and your group of five buddies into a place that you've never been, a place that you will return to frequently, and demand of you things you've never really been asked to do in a shooter before. It's getting people together and getting them into a group and making your way down to the bolt of glass and seeing what's at the bottom of it, if you can get that far. Now, raids will apparently not have any waypoints or mission prompts telling you what to do. They are self-directed challenges, and basically you will be expected to have to attempt the raids multiple times before you succeed, and which will naturally build your character in the process. And Luke said, quote, raids aren't an activity we expect you to get through the first time through. Now, as you probably know, straight pl st strike playlists, there we go, words are hard apparently, are sorted by level and basically offer content for that level throughout. Um, whereas with raids, a raid of a particular level will push you much further. And Luke said, quote, in a raid, when the raid begins at level 25, that's not where it ends. Like part of going into the raids, the journey of gearing up, building your arsenal to react to the situations that it's going through, it's going to ask you to go through. And you will also, of course, have to face bosses, which are anything... They're not anything like what you've seen before in the game or in Strikes or anything like that. And he said, quote, the raid bosses are different. They're still big monsters. Much like what you're going to see, they're still scary, but they have a bunch of abilities that are unlike anything you've really experienced in a shooter before. When we're building this thing, there was nothing that any of us could go home to play to learn to try and learn from. I mean, we were, as we were going, building and learning and failing along the way to find core mechanics and occasionally we succeed. But, as I said previously, while they're aiming for something a little bit different in a traditional raid, um, they're also basically not actually going to be that accessible to more casual players. And Luke said, quote, Raids are a really big bet for us. There's a bit of a risk because the activity requires you to have a group of five other friends to play with. Like, if the worst thing that happens is you get your group together and you will have a great time when you make your well way through the first difficulty level of the raid, wow, well, it's going to be awesome. I bet you want to come back. Hopefully the gear makes you want to come back. So there you go, guys. The latest info on raids, which they've kind of been keeping shtum about up until now. Now... I think the decision to not have any matchmaking with strangers in the game for raids is going to kind of rub a pe few people the wrong way as well. If they're only casual players and they don't have many people within the game, then, well, they're going to feel like they're being shut out from that content. But, as I said previously, you could gather up your friends on your favourite forum or Facebook or what have you, even just create a, a public group and see what you can get together. There are other ways to do it, and while you could argue you shouldn't have to do that, I can kind of see why they wanted to, but 
I've got a feeling it's going to piss a few people off. Do let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, guys, on the particular topic, and I'll see you next time.